Where are we taking this Freeman guy? Cops out for questioning. What the hell for? We got him. Let's kill him now. Uh, and if they find the body? Body? What body? Bad sleep. Jeez, I kind of broke some boxes. So anyway, hey guys. All right. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Get out! Actually, they give you a lot of time to get out. You gotta make sure you climb up before they start destroying the boxes. Otherwise, boom. Um, boxes get crushed. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So, just climb up there, and welcome back to Half-Life. In the last part, we just killed some assassins, but then we got lured into a trap, and in this part, we we're gonna continue on with just the crowbar, which they magically dumped outside. So anyway, yeah. Residue processing. Basically, this chapter is the... Mmm... Something, something, something. I don't know. But this involves a lot of outdoor sections. Yeah, I know, we're outdoors. <laughs> Also, they're going to be kind of twice as tough as they were at the beginning of the game. So, like, twice as many enemies. So, you'll be seeing, like, kind of quite a lot of enemies. And you also have to be working back all your items. So, I believe in this, you gotta turn the valve logo. Oh, I remember this chapter has, like, one of the most annoying sections of the game. And then you gotta jump it. You're gonna take damage, but this thing doesn't come back out. It's just gonna lower the water. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so... What have I been doing over the past... Recording break? I have been playing Pokemon... Particularly Black 2. Yeah, I picked Black this time. Gosh, it is awesome! Maybe because I'm a Pokemon fan, this is coming from some guy who's extremely prejudiced. And, Joy, we're indoors. Hey, yeah, he's got this, he's got this. What the hell? Are just gonna run it? Dude, get back here! Oh. <laughs> and I don't have a gun, so. Glorious. Um. Well, now we got the gun! <laughs> so now we got our pistol, which is good, and I believe. These are goodies. Sometimes there's goodies. I think you're actually supposed to go this way. You're supposed to. Make sure you don't stand in that. Oh crap, crap, get in there! Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm, I've been playing Pokemon, I'm gonna move over another Munchlax to that save. That's been something I've always been doing in the Pokemon games, just moving over to Munchlax. Anyway, if you fall, I believe there is a ladder somewhere to climb up. But basically, in this bit, you gotta make sure that you stand on these pistons, like kind of piston shape. You gotta stand on the pistons once they're above the radio. Okay. They don't they don't crush you on the ceiling, but you gotta make sure that you jump at the right times. I jump on this one and then the other one will come across. There you go. Yeah, I got this. Oh, I touched it. Oh, I'm good. Oh, uh, was I not supposed to fall? Oh, thank goodness it's a ladder. Um, so anyway, yeah, so, I've been playing Pokemon Black 2, and I can judge it up to the... Crap. <laughs> I can judge it up to the first gym, because I've, I've been in the first gym, and... Difficulty-wise, I think it's just because I'm really not used to playing through the game again, because, I don't know, I just found the first gym extremely difficult. Um, I don't know why. My Pokemon were a little bit under the level. They should have been, they were all about level 11. The gym had like 13s. Um, which is kind of weird because the battles going up to all level 9, so I thought I was pretty overpowered. The other thing is also I have an, an Azuril, so yeah, Azuril is really weak, seriously. Um, I've also got a Psyduck, because I know Golduck's going to be pretty cool. I know Psyduck's going to be pretty cool. Oh, anyway, I'm going to chuck some health on these. Sometimes they're nice enough to do that. I got the. the. assault rifle explosives in this. Yeah, she gets some ammo for the weapons you haven't gotten yet. This is nice. Okay, so we're good. Uh, anyway, yeah, I've got a Golduck, because I'm prepared for a Golduck. 
Okay, it's safe. Um, oh yeah, I remember this bit. This bit's coming. It's like, oh no, the door doesn't work. So you gotta go down. It's a little bit counterintuitive because you see the grinder. You're like, oh no, I'm not going there. But yeah, you gotta go past it. You gotta go past the grinder and then that truck get down here. Go back up and then you gotta swim around. I don't want to go with that. I'm going to go past the, to the fire and the flames. Duck past that. And I think it's here. There you go. So yeah. Um, would I recommend it? I would recommend any... Because the thing with Pokemon is that it's good if you're a fan. Because it keeps gives you more challenge and it allows you to c complete your explorative efforts and stuff. If, you, if you're new to it... Oh, wait. No, that's just a bonus area. If you're new to Pokemon, then it's also a good game because, you know, it's a very good game for teaching the, the basics of it. They can, you know, buy all the merch merchandise. Um, but, uh, like, if you're gonna shun Pokemon, because I know there's a bunch of people at my school, because, I don't know, there's a lot of it. Also, the water clips over there, because it's not entirely insane. I think you actually have to go through it. I guess not, you just kind of grab it with fire. Um... I touched it. Dang it! Dang it, I touched it. Um... Well, I'm, I'm gonna go the health in. Um... So yeah. Uh, what can I judge of it? Uh, the graphics are only a little bit better than black and white just because it's only been a year and, you know, but... But, uh, all the... All the... Trainers are now animated. Oxygen poisoning. Oh. Um, all the trainers are now animated. Like all of them. Oh, I, I remember. You gotta go over here and turn it off. That's why I've got the pistol. I don't know why. Boom. That's handy. Just pick this thing up. Pick the revolver up while you at it. Um, yeah, I think it's a good game. Oh, you get these things as well. Come on, man. So that's one thing though, is that they are, they're not making it so you, you know, you gotta find all the weapons again. It's just like, oh yeah, yeah. You gotta get to grips with it. And believe me, that wasn't all the weapons up to the crowbar. Ow. Oh, crap, this crap, the crap, crap. Oh. I can see him down there. Is it gonna be that? Anyway, so you gotta flick these switches so that they go around and stuff. I think you just gotta flick them all so they go forward. Yeah. But yeah, like, why shun Pokemon? Just because it's geared towards a young audience? I'm actually gonna... Jeez, why did I think that was a good idea? Really? All the way back here? Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'll drag this on a bit longer because I'm sorry. These auto saves are like way far apart. I didn't realize how far away they were. You know, I may as well grab the health while I'm at it. I don't know why I can't grab it right now. It's a bit of a confusing area, this one, I'll say that. Once you get to the conveyor belt stuff. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like, don't shun Pokemon just because it's Pokemon, you know, it's geared towards children, it's not my kind of game, it's not Call of Duty. Oh, yes. So you can take me? No, you can't. No, you can't. Also, I hit him for real. I hit him. Oh, yeah, got him. Um, yeah, like, don't shun Pokemon just because it's geared towards kids. It's actually proper. Oh, there's a t there's a timer. Ah, uh, okay. So move them all f so they're going forward, and then you gotta press this button when the time is right. Hey, yeah, that that seems like a good time. Go, 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 go! Middle one, middle one. Go! Oh, that was close. Okay, we did it. Onwards to victory. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry for the freaking save states. Well, not really save states, but okay. Oh, 
It's the Piston Lab from Metroid Prime. Actually, this this game first, although I think it had like piston rooms. Wait, it, it like slams like twice. This is one, just one. That one slams three times. One, two, three. There you go. Oh yeah, and they're also got waste pits. So yeah, this is the conveyor belt stuff. And this is pretty awesome. You can't really go backwards. And then if you can't go backwards. Wow. Can you actually break this entire section though? No, you can't. That's too fast. Okay, I was, I was just thinking, can you break this entire section by going backwards? No, you can't. And then I think one of these has like explosives anyway. You can fall, but like, you know, you get you can't go back up. So heat! I think we're going around in circles, but we're not really. Okay, you're supposed to end up here. And then wait, hold on. There's a track. I can't see. Oh crap! Oh, I get um I'll, I'll just take the hit because I know I know exactly. You were supposed to use the other explosive thing up. And then holy crap! Platforming! Ooh. Radiation sounds like fun! Oh yeah, oh yeah, the meat, the meat chomper. Ooh. And then, just go around the outside. Also, you know, barnacles, that's the name of them. Oh, barnacles. Yes, that's the name of them. And questionable ethics. So we're on to the next chapter straight away. Ah, crap! Also, electric fence. Uh, I can't jump up a generic ground pound attack. Get out of here! Hey, uh, you can't touch the fence, and but you gotta jump over it somehow, and I think, yeah, you gotta do it over here. <sighs> jump it! <laughs> What is with all this machinery and not working? Why was the machinery not working before the Resonance Cascade? I thought it was just because it was a pure sample. Oh, there's some pretty awesome stuff in here. First of all, here's a new enemy. That's coming out of his chest, by the way. Anyway, he has a pretty annoying enemy. Look at that thing. Oh, crap! I've only got one revolver, so... I guess not good, I didn't. Die! Any crap? Can you? No, you can't. Get it later. I think I would just let him out anyway. I should have probably taken him out with the explosives. I've got barely any ammo. I've only got like a little bit. Oh, this room is awesome! This room is awesome, okay? Check this out. It's like. laser! Oh no! And they all died. The end. <laughs> oh gosh, I love this section. This section is pretty awesome. And it's, yeah, let's go. Oh crap! Maybe if I had my explosive plant. Uh, in fact, if I had more ammo. I sl slid it a bit too much. Okay. Sure. Let's get some health. Some health! So yeah, um... Yeah, Pokemon is good. And I especially like how now they're... How <laughs> they're not restricting it all to 5th gens again, like last time. Because I know exactly that he's there. Oh, it's the left mouse button, dang it, I used both of them. But now I got this, okay, and I've, I've got some explosive. Oh, wow, there's another one. Oh. oh, that's handy. Hey, it's no good up there, it's all sealed off. The only way out would be to find someone with scanner access who can open the front door. I'm pretty sure there's a few scientists hiding somewhere in the labs. Maybe with both of us looking, we can track them down and get them to let us out. Well, 
that'll be our objective for next part. Ha 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 ha. I'll see you guys then. Woo!